this video we'll understand how do we construct x bar and r chart for a given numerical example the example is the following data were obtained over a five day period to indicate x bar and r control chart for a quality characteristic of a certain manufacturing product that had required a substantial amount of rework all the figures apply to the product made on single machine by a single operator the sample size was 5 two samples were taken per day construct the x bar and r control chart and comment on the process so this is the data given uh, 10 samples are given uh, as per the question each sample is of size 5 that is why we have five observations for each sample and uh, in a day uh, two times the sample was drawn, so it is a five-day process. That is why you may notice 10 sample numbers are available. And whatever the observation which is being noted, that is notified here. And we need to construct the control charts. First, control limits for X bar. Upper control limit is defined as UCL X bar, which is X double bar plus A2 times R bar. And then uh, lower control limit is defined as LCL suffix X bar, which is X double bar minus A2 times R bar. And then the central line is X double bar. Control limits for R is, that is range is, upper control limit is UCL of R, and that is D4 times R bar. And lower control limit is LCL suffix R, which is D3 times R bar. Central line is nothing but R bar. Here, X double bar is nothing but summation of X bars, that is sum of all the averages, whatever we calculate for this data for each of the sample, divided by the total number of samples, which is denoted by small k. Similarly, for each sample number, we will be calculating the range and then sum of all those ranges divided by the number of samples. These A2, D3 and D4 values are obtained from this chart, which is table of control chart constants, and they depend on the size of the sample. For example, here the sample size is defined as five, and here the data also has got five. So for, for sample size of five, we will be identifying what is the value of A2, D3, and D4 from that table. We will see how it is done. Uh, yeah, these are this is the particular table. In this, the sample size is five, so we will be identifying what is this A2 value, which is 0.577, what is D3 value, which is zero, and what is D4 value, which is 2.114. We'll be using these values for solving this particular problem. Now let us go back to our file. Yeah. So now for the given data, we are calculating the arithmetic mean for each sample means uh, 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 10 plus nine, and since there are five observations, we are dividing it by five to get this average that is arithmetic mean, which is 11. Similarly, for sample two, it is 9.2. All the mean values are calculated. And then all these mean, whatever we calculated, we are summing it up to get this 108.4. Then comes range. We identify what is the largest value in the first sample, which is 13, and the smallest value, which is 9. Difference between that, those two items, those two observations is our range, which is 4. Similarly, in the second sample, we may notice the highest is 11, and the least is 6. That is why the range is 5. Then we sum up all the range values to get this 37. Then the next step is to calculate x double bar, which is nothing but sum of all the arithmetic means divided by number of samples. Some of all these arithmetic means is already evaluated as 108.4 and that is getting divided by 10 to get this value 10.84. Similarly, R bar is sum of all the range values divided by number of samples, which is 37 by 10, we get 30.7. Now, the upper limits, upper limit of X bar is X double bar plus A2 times R bar. We already identified A2 as 0.577 from the table. We are substituting those values to get the UCL as 12.97. Similarly, LCL will be uh, same thing. Only thing is in between it is subtracted. So to get the value 8.71. Central line is nothing but X double bar, which is 10.84. Then we calculate control limits for R, which is UCL R is D4 times R bar. And we already identified from the table, the D4 value for sample five is 2.114. 
that multiplied by this r bar we get 7.82 and lower control limit of range is d3 times r bar we identify d3 value as 0 so the lcl will be 0 central line is r bar which is 3.7 now we are we are drawing the graph wherein this x axis denotes uh, what you call sample numbers y axis denotes the x bar values and we know we calculated the UCL as 12.97 upper control limit. So we are drawing a horizontal line and lower control limit also we are drawing a horizontal line. And this is the central line or central line is 10.84. We are drawing a horizontal line to that. These are all the plots based on the values what we obtained. That is 11 for the first sample, 9.2 for the second sample. 11 for the first sample, um, 9.2 for the second sample. And then we are joining those two points like that all the 10 points are plotted we may notice all the 10 points are lying within the lcl and ucl here similarly we draw the r chart for r chart the lower control limit is zero that is why this itself becomes the lcl and upper control limit is 7.82 so this horizontal line represents 7.82 that is ucl and central line is three point uh, sorry 3.7 so in between we are drawing the central line uh, wherever it points at 3.7 then we plot those values 4 5 3 4 for the first sample 5 for the second sample and 3 for the third sample like this 4 5 3 and then join those plots i mean pointed uh, points all the points to get this curve we may again note this curve lies between lc and ucl since both these curves that is x bar curve actual and r, r curve actual both are lying but within the lcl and ucl we say the process is within control